I'm back. Podcast number four, four for Gaming Fanatic News. And like I said, I'll try to do it once a week, and I, I am. I'm not on 12 hours, so I was on second shift, and I'm going. I'm on third now. So I'll talk about, I'll discuss what I've been up to in the gaming world for the past week. And a couple topics I want to talk about. There's going to be one that's off topic that I'm curious to see. What is your favorite football team? Put it in the comments and uh, let me know what your favorite football team is. American football, not English or UK football. American football, please. <laughs> and we all know mine's the Patriots. Yeah, no theme, no theme this week. Just t-shirt, not no hat. Show that I shaved my head. And the and the topics that we're gonna talk about are, I got a couple topics. Star Wars The Old Republic, I didn't get in the beta. <laughs> Star Wars The Old Republic versus Gear, Gears, Guild Wars 2. I don't know why Gears of War was in my head. It's probably because next week my girlfriend is getting it. Um, and number four is the, the normal thing, the game of the week that I'm playing. Because there's no new game. I didn't buy no new game this week, so... You'll be surprised what I tell you when I'm playing for the game of the week. Or games of the week, whatever. If we're getting technical. And my cute card just fell down. I just we do this for a living. Well, you try to put the cue card in front so, like, at least when I'm talking, I'm looking at it so I'm not looking down all the time. You know? <laughs> Alright. So, yeah. Do me a favor. I want everybody in the comments tell me what their favorite football team is. I'm just kind of curious to see how much, how many people that watch my podcast like football. So, big game for me this week. It's going to be the Patriots are at home against the Chargers. So it should be a good offensive game. <coughs> so, Phillip Rivers is up to his game. But I think in the end, the Patriots will win. We'll have to see. So... Now I'm going to talk about the Star Wars Old Republic MMO. Betas, they inv the beta week has come back after a week hiatus because of the new client they that you needed to upload and they invited all, all the <coughs> all the old beta people back. Yeah, I still got the cough from bronchitis. And they said they're going to be bringing out new people to the beta. Well, I ain't one of the new people. <laughs> and I hope that it, other people who didn't get in got in but me. Been on that damn forum since it started back in October 2008. Been following that MMO Hardcore. And I haven't even got an invite. Yeah, I am crying. I hope you're all laughing. I'm crying out loud. Yes, I am. Man. I think it's funny. I think what is funny, I'm not mad or angry. The, the funny <coughs> thing is that Every beta that I ever applied to, I got in. So this one, I just, I haven't got picked. I don't know why, but it's just kind of funny. But, you know, the things that I saw about that game, you're, you're, you're going to just, if you like, if you just like any Bioware games, and you like the storytelling aspect, with great MMO gameplay mechanics, you want to be, and you love the Star Wars world, and you want to become part of that character. It's a hands down, no brainer. It'll be worth for you to check out. Uh, the collector's edition is gone; you can't get it anywhere. I checked around, did my homework before I came on, and I'm, I'm thankful that I made sure I pre-ordered that. All right. I'm going to go, now I'm going to talk about, because I see, this is what I see. It's the Star Wars The Old Republic versus Guild Wars 2. You know, they love to flame each other. You know, I've been to a couple websites, I'm not going to mention their name, because this is my podcast. I'm not giving, these. you know, these are big sites, but I'll mention. <coughs> so, they get on, and they bash this game, they bash that game, they bash... But it doesn't make no point. The game's not released. Of what I, I saw from GamesCon, there was videos allowed 
from certain websites that they actually got to play by themselves <coughs> and, and play each game by themselves. And Star Wars The Old Republic is more traditional of an MMO. But a triple A title, clean and crisp, and stuff like that. What I saw of Guild Wars 2, it's not traditional. It's a lot of more hectic, more chaotic when you get in the game. It's like, you know, it's just like right when you get in a game, you're thrown into the fire, and I think that's a very good thing. Me, I'm going to own both games just because Guild Wars 2 has no monthly fee. So there's just no sense for me to buy it. If I, you know, I'm playing Star Wars and nobody's on and I just don't feel like soloing, I can go play Guild Wars too. Plus my girlfriend's going to get Guild Wars too. She's not getting Star Wars. She's, <coughs> so, but what I saw of Guild Wars 2, it's like events are happening around you and whoever's in the area has to help to complete the event. But what I saw, what I liked, is that, say if you're holding an axe and you're fighting, you're learning skills for that axe. And then you find a sword that can do more damage than the axe, but you haven't used the sword. You switch that sword, now you gotta learn the skills for that sword. So each weapon has its own skill set, and I think that is so freaking cool. So, you want to use a bow, the more you use it, the more skills you get with it. That, I, I think that is the coolest thing. So, you, just because, so if you learned, say, eight skills and your axe, and then you picked up a sword, now you only have one skill. So, the way I'm looking <coughs> at it is at the beginning, you better make sure that you, in the newbie area, learn everything but right in the newbie layer area like you're level two and you're already fighting a boss they showed it they went in the cave so I thought that was cool very big punch value get right to the point and so it looks good and then they have like the quest for other people that help the event to complete the event just collecting things for like the armory and picking them up and put it there and there's siege weapons you can use and I saw so both games are going to be great both games to me are totally different. One is going to be, Star Wars is going to be more towards you feeling to you're part of the Star Wars universe. Guild Wars 2 is going to be more like chaotic, you know, medieval type war and, and uh, it's just going to be frantic all the time and, and that's awesome too. So you got two different ways to make your heart pump. To me, both games are going to be great. So, just want to let you guys know my opinion on that. Now I'm going to talk about, since there's not much, because I worked second shift, I didn't play much, but when I did play, what I played this week, and you're going to be surprised, Call of Duty Black Ops. Oh, okay, I got it right. Call of Duty Black Ops. I played this. Wait, this is what the thing that everybody's gonna laugh. At. I never played the single player game. Let me check right now on my Raptor account. Let me go to the Raptor homepage real quick. Let me see here. I've played Call of Duty 242 hours. And 241 is all multiplayer. I never played the single player. I can't believe how easy achievements are to get in shooters because I never play the single player but I'm a type of person I don't give a shit about achievements anyway but I you know when they pop up it's cool and everything but I don't worry about it get worry about to get them it's not like a necessity and I was surprised I played it for an hour I got four achievements I said oh I gotta start playing these single player parts of the game so yeah you all saw it's the hard edition blah 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 but that's what I'm playing, and I just, it says on my Raptor account, I logged into Riff. I was just checking out something, making sure my settings are, because I run Crossfire on, on two sixty nine seventy video cards, so I, uh, there was a leaked driver 8.9, and I wanted to see how it was running, it's running very well. So that's why I said I played Riff, but I really didn't play it, it just went on for like 20 minutes. 
But other than that, there's nothing much. Next week, I'm going to talk about Guild Wars. Or Guild Wars. Gears of War 3. I like that. Guild Wars. See? Getting it all mixed up. GG. It's probably because I'm dyslexic. But, anyways. <laughs> I'm going to talk about Gears of War 3. Because the release date's the 20th. And Amazon's awesome. They put it at your door the 20th. My girlfriend's buying it, so she gets all the goodies. She bought the. I don't know what edition it's called. I'm just having a brain fart. The $79.99 thing. She bought it, so I'm just going to use hers because it's not like any EA games where you have to buy the online pass. So I'll just play hers. I'm surprised. I usually get the collector's edition. It look the collector's edition does look unbelievable. But Gears of War, I like the single player more than the multiplayer. But I played the beta, and the multiplayer is so much better now. So I just saving my money I didn't want to pay 150 bucks for that because I know I'm guessing here not don't quote me I bet you that Star Wars the Old Republic will come out Thanksgiving weekend it's just a guess I'm not saying I'm right or I'm no inside scoop I don't know nobody from there but that's it I guess that's all I'm going to talk about for now until next week maybe I'll have some I'm uh, definitely going to talk about Gears of War 3. Uh, we'll have fun, and if anything else changes, I'll let you know. And as always, go to Gaming Fanatic News and check me out. And don't forget, all you people out there that's going to play Star Wars The Old Republic, join my guild. Go to my uh, <clears throat> webpage. It's on the front page. Now I moved it to the right side of the, the bar where you get all the information and just click on it and join it. Be glad to ha ha have anybody to join. You don't have to be experienced. This ain't a hardcore guild, but we're just going to play to get things done in the game and work together. So anybody's welcome, male, female, uh, if you're from space. We even accept aliens. <laughs> All right, you guys have a great day.